Hey guys, it's Manda Panda and welcome to this My Little Pony tutorial video. Today I am going to be transforming Fluttershy into Owlette from PJ Masks. She is a really cool superhero. I started off by taking off Fluttershy's head. I twisted it to the side really hard until it just popped right out of the neck plug. Then I pulled out the rest of the neck plug and I'm just going to reattach it to to the body so it doesn't get lost because I've lost it before and I spent way too much time looking for it so I don't want to risk losing it again now I'm gonna take my big scissors and cut off as much of Fluttershy's hair as I can and then I'm gonna switch over to these teeny tiny nail scissors and I'm gonna cut her hair all the way down to the scalp now this step is super important because the shorter that the hair is the easier it's going to be to remove all of the hair roots from the inside so i'm reaching into the head with my pliers and i'm going to pull out all of these bunches of hair and glue until the pony is completely bald now i'm gonna finish prepping the body i'm cutting off the tail and pressing in the rest of it with the tip of my scissors and just like that, it's ready for a new tail later on. I'm just going to take a little bit of acetone, remove Fluttershy's original cutie mark, and now we are ready to start the customization into Owlette. I'm going to be using this nail polish from Orly called Take a Bite. It's a really pretty vibrant red, and I'm going to be painting the entire pony with two coats of this nail polish. I'm not going to be painting the wings, just the body. And you'll note that I put a paintbrush through the tail hole. I do this because it makes it so easy for me to hold the pony and paint the entire body without ruining my paint job. So two coats of red are on. I'm going to go over it with one thick coat of clear top coat. And this nail polish is about halfway dry. I let it dry for about 20 minutes so it's still kind of tacky. And I want to give the body the texture that Owlette kind of has to her little outfit so I'm using the back of one of my little tools from a clay tool set that I have and I'm pressing it firmly into the nail polish and you can see where it has made all of these really cool indentations in the nail polish and given the body kind of like the texture of having feathers it looks so cool so the only way you can do that is if the nail polish is at least three coats thick and you have to wait until it's about halfway dry before you can put that texture in now i'm switching over to short story by opi a really pretty shade of pink and i'm painting the wings i let all that nail polish dry and now i'm gonna go in with the same red nail polish i used for the body and i'm going to completely outline the wings on the outside and on the inside to give it a really really awesome effect Effect, and it'll look a lot like the back of Owlette's cape. So this is going to look so cool. Now I'm going in with that same pink color and I'm going to draw on the stripe on the side of her pants. And I have decided to make Owlette a Pegasus because I thought if she was a pony, she would totally be able to fly. I'm also going to be using this pink to give her some little shoes at the back. The last thing that her body is missing is her logo. So I actually printed out this really teeny tiny Owlette logo from the internet just printed it out on regular old printer paper and i'm gonna cut it out really nicely and attach it to the front of her chest using some nail polish so i'm gonna get my clear nail polish again and put a thin coat on the chest area all at the front and then i'm going to press that little tiny piece of paper onto her body 
and the nail polish will secure it once it has completely dried. Now you'll notice that the pink on this logo is totally different from the pink that I used on her wings. So I'm actually going to go in with a fine paintbrush and paint the logo in. So this is just really serving as a template so I can get a really good shape to her logo because I don't think I would be able to get that good of a shape if I freehanded it on my own. So let's get this all painted in with pink and red. Whoa, that looks so cool. Now I'm going to go over the front of the chest with a layer of clear nail polish to seal all of that work in. And the last thing that we're missing is the tail. So I'm using some white Gorilla Glue and I'm just squirting it directly into the pony's little tail hole there. And I have some red hair. This is Cherry Pie from DollyHair.com. I've twist tied a little bit of it together. And I'm just going to press that into the tail hole using my nail dotting tool and then just give it a little trim. The body's all done. Let's make Owlette's face. I'm using some flesh tone acrylic paint and I'm going to put three layers on her nose and mouth area because Owlette has a little mask and it shows her mouth. And then I'm going to seal all of that acrylic paint in. Once it's dried, I can start working on the little wings Owlette has at the front of her mask that kind of wrap around like ears. To make them, I'm going to be using Sugru, which I have used in several customs before. It is air dry rubber. I prefer it over air dry clay because it dries faster and it doesn't shrink. So I'm just taking a long thin piece and I'm just kind of flattening it and working it into all the little holes that were left over from where we pulled out her hair. I just want to hide those so the head is completely smooth. Now I'm I'm taking these long pieces and I'm just going to drape them on her forehead and then extend them up to her ears to create the points of her mask and I'm gonna put one on the other side and then I'm going to use my fingers to smooth this all out all the way down her face. While the Sugru is still wet, I am going to just carve out a little bit around the ears because Owlette does have some indentations on the side of the little wings of her mask. So I'm going to put those in using this little clay tool and that looks super awesome. The Sugru has completely dried so it's nice and firm now and I'm going in with my X-Acto knife and I'm trimming some of the excess Sugru and shaping out Owlette's ears making them pointy and round. And this is another reason why I prefer Sugru over air dry clay because once air dry clay dries, it is super hard and I wouldn't be able to go in and shape them like I can with the Sugru. So the Sugru is all done. Now I'm switching back to my red nail polish and I'm gonna actually paint the entire head red. I'm starting off by carefully drawing out the area I want for Owlette's mouth and then I will fill in the entire rest of the head. I'm going to do the front first and then the back. So with the back, I'm going to do the same thing I did with the body. I'm going to put two coats of red paint and then one thick coat of clear coat. I'm going to let it dry about halfway, so you know, about 15-20 minutes. While the nail polish is still tacky, I'm going to go in with the back of that little tool that I showed you guys and I'm going to press in that really awesome texture. Now, if you don't have this tool to be putting the texture in, you could always try scraping it with a toothpick or using a orange wood stick that you use for pushing back the cuticles on your nails because both of those things can easily give you a pointed shape. 
So let's get all of this texture in. And again, it's just the back of her head because the front of her head is completely smooth. So now I'm switching over back to the pink nail polish and I'm just gonna put a thin line at the top of her mask, kind of where it separates the smooth area from the feathered area. Now it's time for her eyes. I'm using acrylic paint for the eyes, using some white to draw out the shape of Owlette's eye. And then I'm gonna give her some red eyes. I put down a dark red and I'm gonna put a brighter red right in the middle for a little bit of definition and dimension. Going in with some black now and then gonna give her one light reflection in the corner. The head is completely done. I'm gonna give it a layer of clear nail polish, let it dry, and then put the head back on the body. Now let's take a look at the completed custom. Here is Owlette from PJ Masks. And if you notice, she borrowed Owlette's little cape and it looks adorable on her. Oh my gosh, I love the way that the texture came out on her body and on the back of her head. This custom looks so awesome. If you think that I should make another PJ Masks pony, give this video a thumbs up and let me know which character you want to see next. Do you want to see a good guy like Gecko or maybe one of the bad guys, maybe Luna Girl? Let me know down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching Little Pandas. Until next time, bye! You can follow me online to get the latest news and updates like my Facebook page, facebook.com backslash Manda Panda Toy Collector or follow me on Instagram at Manda Panda Toy Collector. Want to mail me something? Guess what? You can mail it to Manda Panda P.O. Box 2855 Humble, Texas 77347.